I'm going to throw on my brown. I'm obsessed with these. Some CBT from the Super Puff. We have these. I did get terracotta. Hi guys, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Aubrey if you're new here. If you are new, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram. I always link it down below, but I'll leave my name on the screen. Oh, we're dirty here. I think I messed the camera up. Hold on. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, handsome. Guys, I just got another youth to the people package seriously my favorite skincare like no lie let's open her up i'm so excited they always have the best packaging a clean state for your dream state baby oh i saw this a cleansing balm guys i freaking love cleansing bombs and i was running i'm running out of my elemis my elemis is my favorite one but i've never tried theirs and it looks incredible prickly pear i love prickly pear okay oh got a little journal here that's cute. And the cleansing balm. Superberry Dream with prickly pear hyaluronic acid. Wow, sounds amazing. Guys, if you don't use a freaking cleansing balm, like I don't know what you're doing. I don't, I can't live without it. This is how I take off my makeup. Ooh, nice. It's like nice packaging, feels incredible. So excited. Thank you, youth to the people. You guys are my freaking favorite. Mm. Look at this. <laughs> I can't get up. I have so much to do. B. I tried to make him get up and he won't. Okay. I'm stuck. Brooksy, I gotta get up. Oh. Good morning, happy Saturday. We are running out to Bed Bath & Beyond and Target to get some things for tonight because they're having people over. Let me show you my fit. Um, unmade bed, don't, don't mind that. So this is from Pretty Little Thing. I had it from last year. And then these are from Bershka. They were from ASOS. I really like them, they're so comfortable. They're a little long, so I'm gonna have to wear some tall boots. And then, Oh, I'm going to throw on my brown uh, leather vest, and we're ready to go. How stinking cute is this? I look like a chocolate chip drop. Chili. <laughs> Happy Friday. Today is Friday, and it's already 2 o'clock. I had a busy morning. We got up, went for a walk, did my whole morning routine, and then we went to this ethnic spice market grocery store. Obsessed with it. Um, we used to walk by it all the time and never got to go in, so we went in and spent so much time in there because it's so amazing, it's so fun. Um, we are having friends over tomorrow, so I was trying to get some things for that. They have like different flavored, sugars flavored salts every spice you could imagine it's like this labyrinth store i don't know how to pronounce the name so i'll put it on the screen you have to go it's so so cool there was like every type of flower every type of spice all these different teas that i'm dying to try i'll show you what we got first of all we got a big old bottle of chamoy chamoy is my favorite thing ever i love it in drinks um do a little chamoy rim with the tahini and the sugar it's incredible and this huge bottle which will last us forever was 4.99 so then we got some japanese mayo oh mm. obsessed with these this is the brand and the bottle is like adorable you know like that squeezy bottle um then we got this orange vanilla simple syrup this will be these are for crack cocktails and things. They even have a drink on the back that's called the Dreamsicle. Vodka, Contro, the drink, lemon juice, heavy cream, and an egg white, which sounds amazing. So we got this one. It's that this brand, Royal Rose. And we got a little piece of walnut baklava because it was just calling my name. I love baklava and it looked really like syrupy and yummy. So that's just a little treat. Oh, I thought a bunch of things were missing, but he already put them in the fridge. Okay, then I got some, oh, 
you don't even know how excited I am about this. I got some tacio tapioca pearls for bubble tea. So I'm going to make my own freaking bubble tea. Look at these tapioca pearls. They're like freeze dried. Gives you the instructions. I'm obsessed. It says one cup of these makes two cups of cooked boba. They look incredible. I'm so excited. And this was six bucks, but like the one bubble tea that I ordered is six dollars. So I wanted to try it out. And then we got some mango lassi. Dan loves this stuff. I like it, but it's not my favorite. It's like a yogurt smoothie. If you know what mango lassi is, we get it at uh, a lot of times when we get Indian, but really good. This brand looks really yummy. And then we got these little yogurts like it's like in a clay glass pot it looks amazing this is the brand la femme naturally french vanilla bean creamy whole milk yogurt sounds amazing we got vanilla and we got orange blossom honey which also sounds amazing and then lastly i got this passion fruit mousse i love passion fruit there was a lot of like there's a passion fruit syrup passion fruit salt passion fruit sugar passion fruit concentrate like passion fruit curd passion fruit honey like you have everything everything you could imagine at this place but i saw this little passion fruit mousse i love mousse thought would be an amazing little treat so these were just like for fun um but we really went there for chamoyan for the mayo and stuff but amazing love this place it's annoying how those things happen like i have walked across that place a million times never gone and now it's a little farther away from us and now we go and i'm like obsessed i want to go back you can also just get like your bulk items there like almonds and sugars and flowers and any type of nuts milks coconut acai like berries literally everything so obsessed with that place you got to try it if you're in the area or just like go to a spice market anywhere around you so cool okay so that was the morning now today i have a lot to clean i have some boxes to unpack so i'll unbox those with you i need to do my nails because i took them off yesterday and i think i got all my new fall colors in i ordered some new fall colors so i'm so excited and then i need to tan tonight because tomorrow um we're going out and having some friends over and stuff and then i just need to clean and i think we're having our uh dan's parents here for the weekend so again more entertaining so lots to do i just had lunch because i was starving from this morning and now time to clean <laughs> so let's do that also outfit of the morning because i'm sure i'll change a few more times but is this aloe set i love it i'll link it down below if i can find it but it was a christmas present um from dan but i freaking love it it's like nice and waffled and not too heavy perfect because it's like it's fall but it's still kind of hot outside so obsessed also if anybody's wondering this is for my neck i'm trying to fix my posture and my neck so i got this on amazon so no judgment here before we start cleaning though i am gonna have a little midday snack a little mochi this chocolate peanut butter one is so good i'm obsessed if you've never had mochi um the trader joe's ones are a good little intro the vanilla one i haven't tried but this chocolate peanut butter one is really good it's like a rice starch so bs is sitting next to me hi b how are you um it's like a rice starch what is it paste on top of ice cream it's like a little ball of ice cream so good mm, so it gets it like a little chewy so good what is mochi yeah it's like a short grain rice added with like water sugar and maybe corn syrup they pound it out into a paste flatten it and make like a little ball that's how you get mochi so it's like a little chewy yummy ball of ice cream okay i was watching a youtube video so i'm gonna finish that 
finished my mochi and then I'm gonna get cleaning. And I still obviously haven't done my hair or my makeup, but I don't think I will. Cheers. All right, let's unbox some stuff. But I think it's my coffee. All right, I got some more Nespresso pods. Um, I've been kind of like trying to try some new ones and I liked this one. This is the double espresso in Socorro. I really like a double espresso better than I like like an Americano. However, usually they're not strong enough. This is an 11. <laughs> so, should be good. Um, this is like the color. I know they're all based on like color. The Virtuo line. And it came with like 30. All right, then we got some CB2 packages. I'm excited about these. Well, so if you don't have a box cutter, you need to because it's the only safe way to open boxes. We have this one from Stanley. I think he got it from like a hardware store or maybe Amazon and it just like closes. You need one. So we got, I hate when they do that. They only package one item. So we used to have these and we got them again, but we needed a soap pump for the kitchen, one for hand soap and one for dish soap. So we got it in black. These are like their rubber coated soap pumps. They're like seven bucks. They're really good. And then another CB2 box. We got some new glasses. I love glasses if you're new to this channel or if you just haven't caught on yet. I am obsessed with glasses. I get like every type of glass um, and it fills up most of our kitchen. But we got these neat coolers. This is like their biggest. There's the neat line and then there's three um, sizes. These are the neat coolers. They feel really nice, so love them. There's two more. And then, aha, my wine glasses. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. There's a few more things that I guess haven't shipped yet, but I believe we got this in a smaller size and then we also got the white pump of this. Um, but I got these new wine glasses. I'm really excited about them. They're so cute. Oh, I'm obsessed. Look at this. Look at the like, do you see that? Look at the point at the top. So I got two of those. What are these called? The float red wine glasses obsessed i love crate and barrel glasses because they're so thin um which feels really good to hold but they are delicate so be careful all right that was the cb2 and then lastly aritzia so i got the super puff so i really wanted to try out the super puff i have um so i have a canada goose jacket that i got years ago and it's really warm and really great but it's very heavy on my like heavy to hold heavy on my shoulders um so it's hard to wear in the city i used to wear it a lot more in college but i want a very warm jacket that's a lot lighter so that's why i wanted to try the super puff um also side note i also got my favorite sweatshirt which is the uh cozy af perfect shrunken hoodie i got it in ice gray and i get it in a size large so it's nice and cozy these are my favorite sections it's kind of like the color i'm wearing today it's like a almost blue gray i freaking love this style of sweatshirt that one. feels nice and light which i like i got this like brownish this like brownish color <sighs> okay and I got the really long one. Because I was thinking I don't have any jacket that goes all the way down. And if I really want a warm jacket, let's try the long one, you know. They have these warm hand sleeves things, which will really keep your hands warm. And they have a little glove. I mean, uh, thumb pockets. I wanted to get it now because I know when it actually is going to get cold and I'm going to want to wear a jacket like this. Usually the super puff is like sold out and you can't get, get it. I don't know how I feel 
Let me know what you guys think. Should I keep it? Should I get a different color? Should I get a different size? I also got the matte color. I don't like the like patent. And the matte does feel really nice. Okay, comment down below what you think about the jacket. All right, tan is on, it's bacon. And now, time for my nails. Here's the before. Just got out of the shower. I'm doing this Mighty Marshmallow Bliss Mask. I'm almost gone, but these little bliss masks are so cute. Also, here's my nails. I never showed you guys. I did terracotta again. Literally my favorite color by D&D. All right, mask done.